and welcome to DTWG The Prep. Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at absolute value and the number line distance. Okay, so I'm going to be taking absolute value first, then we're going to go to number line. All right, why I, cho I chose to put these two topics together because they are inter interwoven. So you would, you would, don't worry, you would see what I mean uh, by the end of this video. Okay, so first of all, um before i get on to the video um, if it's your first time on this channel please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends family and loved ones preparing for the ged test and also you can visit our website dtwgdprep.com okay to check uh for summary notes on science social studies and study guides, free practice questions, and also you know formula, your formula sheet, your GD math formula sheet. And if you want to join our Facebook group, you're welcome to join us. We're over twenty two thousand members. I own the group. I set up the group to encourage people, and I never knew it would, it would grow this that fast. So um, it's a lovely group, very supportive. If you have questions about the GED in your test in your state be it um, in Arizona or New York City, um, just drop your questions there. All the link, okay, every all the links would be in the video description box of this video. Also, I offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring. If you want um, tutoring in maths, GD maths, science, or social studies, or RLA, you can contact me. All right, so let's get on to the video. So what is the absolute value? Okay, so the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero on the number line. You have the number line, this is zero. Okay, so for example, if we were to find the absolute value, uh, value of three, okay, what you do is you count three, you know, the spaces to zero. Okay, so you can see three is how many spaces away from zero. You have one, two, three. Okay, and also if we were to find the absolute value of a negative three, it is also three, okay? So, because you always count to zero. How many spaces is three, the negative three from zero? And this is what one, two, and three, okay? So, for absolute value, since distance is always positive, distance, like for instance, if you, let's say from your house, from your home to, a nearby to Walmart is a this uh, you know it, it will take you let's say to take you uh, one kilometer one mile all right if you go from your home to Walmart is one mile right that's positive you know when you're coming back you are supposed to say it's negative okay that's from Walmart back home you're supposed to say it's negative but no distance can't be negative okay it's always positive all right so the absolute value of any positive or negative number is always positive. Now you understand what I mean from these examples here, these questions here we have. These questions, we, it says find the absolute value and solutions of these 12 questions. Now, the absolute value of 16 is still just counting um, how many uh, spaces do we have from zero. It's still what? 16, okay? A positive 16. Now, the absolute value of a negative 105 is a positive 105, all right? The absolute value of any positive or negative number is always positive. So here, an absolute value you will see in your uh, notebook, I forgot to mention, or in any textbook, when, when, you, when you see these two straight lines and a number in, in it, it means absolute value of four. When you see this, it means absolute value of negative six, which will give you a positive six, a positive number. Okay, so here the absolute value of five, two, three is what? Five, two, three. Okay, the absolute value of 85, uh, 85 is what? 85, a positive 85. The absolute value of this negative 9,026 uh, is 9,026, a positive value. The absolute value of a negative 16 is a positive 16. Do you see that? Okay, now here, 7 says 5 plus the absolute value of negative 9. So this is 5, 5 which is on its own plus. 
what is the absolute value of negative 9 is a 9. So that's the 5 plus 9, which is what? 14. Okay, let me quickly clean this so we have enough space here. So here, this is negative 3. Then you see, this 3 is close to the absolute value. So it means it's negative 3 times the absolute value of 18. So that's negative 3 times what is the absolute value of 18 is still 18, a positive 18. And negative 3 times 18, what would that give us? That would give us what? A negative 54. Remember, when we're multiplying sign integers, okay? A negative times a positive is a negative. Now here, it says 3 times the absolute value of negative 18. So that would be 3, since this 3 is positive, times... What's the absolute value of negative 18? Remember, the absolute value of a positive or a negative number is a positive number. So that is a positive 18. So we have 3 times 18, and that would give us a negative, sorry, a positive 54. Okay? So here it says 12 divided by the absolute value of negative 3. So that's 12 divided by what is the absolute value of negative 3 is a positive 3. So that's 12 divided by 3, and our answer is a 4. Here it says negative. <clears throat> then in the absolute value, which will not act like a parenthesis, okay? Here also the absolute value acts like a parenthesis. So we resolve what is in here. This is 1, 110 minus 101. What is 1110 minus 101? I think that will give us a 9. So that's a negative in parentheses. That's absolute value of a 9. And what's the absolute value of 9? The absolute value of 9 is 9. And remember, there's a negative outside here. So it will be in this negative times the 9, which would give us what? A negative 9. Do you see that? Now, because you can have questions like this that would come out on the GED, okay? So here, it's um, a negative 14 plus the absolute value of a negative 26 divided by 4. So here we have a negative 14 plus what is a negative 26 divided by 2? That would give us what? A negative 13, okay? And what's the absolute value of a negative 13? It's 13. So we have negative 14 plus... 13. And what is a negative 14 plus 13? That would give us a negative 1. Do you see that? Okay, so good, good. I hope you understand this. Don't worry. Um, try to, you know, um, on the site, you would see it soon. You know, I'm trying to curate all those videos, then also give um, worksheets where you can do questions on your own to study after watching this video. Okay, so just watch out for the course. I would announce it on the YouTube channel. So please be subscribed. All right, so let's let's get on to uh, number line. Now, how is absolute value and number line related? Now, because it's a very simple way, so you don't get confused. You know, there are questions like this in the GED that it asks you, it, you will see like something like this, X, and something like this y and they say what is the distance from x to y okay how do you calculate this okay so a simple way to calculate the distance between numbers on a number line is you can count every number between them okay but a more faster way is to find the distance by taking the absolute value of the difference of those numbers so for instance if you were told to find the distance between these two we are giving an example. I'm doing an example before we get to these questions. Okay. If the question says, what is the distance between X and Y? So you find the absolute value of the difference. Now, X, you trace it on the number line. X is negative 3. So that would be negative 3 minus, okay. And what is uh, 3, uh, um, Y? Y is 3. So negative 3 minus 3. You find the absolute value of negative 3 minus 3. And what is a negative 3? Um, negative 3. That will give us a negative 6. Okay, remember, um, in uh, under our operations of integers, adding and subtracting negative sign numbers, you have to... You see, that particular video is very key in algebra. Please, you need to get it before you advance into algebra. Please make sure you understand your signed rules, how to operate them, very, very important. So when you have two negatives 
what do you do? You add them and your sign takes the negative. Okay, so what is the absolute value of a negative six? The absolute value of a negative six is what? A positive six. So the distance between x and y is six. Okay, another way to count it is to get this is count how many spaces it, um, you have to zero and how many spaces also you have to zero and add them up and you still get six. So from here we have one, two, three. And from here you have one, two, three. When you add three, you get six, a positive six. The distance, remember, distance is always what? Positive. Now, let us look at these two questions that we have here. So the question says, uh, use the number line to find the distance between the following integers. You have negative five and negative one. So the distance between here, you see, tricky question now. It is not to zero. That's why this formula of using absolute value is quite important. So we have to find the distance between these two places. So you find the absolute value. So that will be a negative five minus, you can see that the fastest way to find the distance is taking the absolute value of the difference of those numbers. So a negative five minus, minus one, because this point here is what minus one. Okay, this is our first point X. This is our second point y okay so it's negative five minus minus one okay and here we have a negative five this negative will multiply this negative it gives us a positive so we have a positive one and now a negative five plus one what would that give us we'll subtract when we subtract we have a four and we take the sign of the bigger number which is what negative so we find the absolute value of negative four which is a positive four Okay, so the distance between X and Y is four. And if you count it, one, two, three, four. Do you see that? Sometimes, you know, in, your, in the GED, in the GED test, I've seen questions that um, they would ask, uh, what is the distance here? And your options will be here. Your options will, your that's the your question, the, the answers. Your options, your option A, B, and C would not take like a single number. It will take a representation in absolute value. That's why it's important also to know this. Okay, so know how to calculate this using absolute value. Okay, now the second one says, find the number, let's, let's clear this. Find, use the number line to find the distance between the following integers, a positive four and a negative three. Okay, so we have to find the distance between these two guys here. All right, so we do the same thing. The absolute value of the difference. So we have negative three minus, this is a positive four, minus positive four. Okay, so what do we have here? A negative three, negative four, that will give us a negative seven. And what's the absolute value of a negative seven? It's a positive seven. So that's the distance between here and here. Okay. I hope you fully understand it now. You can see why I have to put these two topics together because they are quite interwoven. So thank you for staying to the end of this video. Okay, and um, don't forget to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give us a thumb up, thumbs up and share this video with your friends, family and loved ones. And um, you can check our website for summary notes, study guides, practice questions and downloads. And you can join our Facebook group. And don't forget, I also offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring. If you are interested for your RLA, social studies, your science and your maths. Okay, so uh, thank you. And lastly, don't forget that please, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he is the way. He's the truth and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. He's going to make us new again. Okay? He's going to make us born again, afresh again, and make us uh, beautiful in his ways. You know? So just um, accept him today. And he's going to give you peace. Peace that passes all understanding. He's going to give you that. All right. Thank you. You are blessed. You are destined to win in your forthcoming GD test and also in life. All right. Thank you and see you in our next video.